Hi guys and welcome to day three of Jim Corner Grid and Auto Circus powered by Auto Trader. Now I've got a very, very special guest here and it is one of the lady competitors in this year's Jim Corner Grid, Nicolette Santo. How are you doing? I'm fine, thanks. A little bit tired. A little bit tired. Yeah. It is day three. It has been three, four actually very long days already. And how are you feeling today? Yeah, we arrived uh, on uh, Tuesday and today is Sunday, so we can say it was a really long week. A very long week. Yeah. yeah, some of us have only been here since Thursday. You've been here all week. Yeah. And of course, all the traveling as well. Yeah, so we were part of the Monday, yeah. Um, yeah, very, very. Now, unfortunately, you haven't qualified for the main eliminations, but you put in a great show over the last two days. Have you enjoyed competing here up against some of the local drivers? Uh, there, there wasn't a lot of uh, chance to to practice on the track, unfortunately. Okay. Uh, that's why we didn't have time to uh, make changes on the car, because uh, this car is a drift car, basically. Yes. And, uh, would have uh, needed uh, uh, more uh, setuping on that for Jim Kana. Yes. What we couldn't do, we hoped uh, for opposite, but uh, because of the time, we couldn't do it. And that is a pity. But I can tell you what, this car has made a statement. Everybody loves this car. Do you want to tell us a little bit more about what this car is? This is a BMW E46 uh, with a Chevrolet Corvette LS7 engine and with a supercharger. So it's a really strong car. We can say that it's a muscle car, you know, like that. Uh, it's about uh, 650 horsepower, wow. uh, 7.2 liters, and uh, 1000 uh, newton meters. That's a lot of power. And this is actually your drift car because you're not a Jim Corner competitor usually, you're actually a drifter. Yeah, I am basically a drifter, but uh, I I had a lot of good results in Jim Corner also in Hungary and uh, in uh, Europe too. So, for example, in Madrid, I I beat uh, Udam, for example, and uh, another uh, really great drivers. Uh, but uh, with my E30, not with this. My E30 yes. is really cool for Gymkhana and prepared for Gymkhana, not this car. This one is a little bit long and that it's almost too much power for a small little track like this. Not because of it's longer, because of uh, its weight. Is it the weight? Yeah, okay. yeah. So it's too heavy for, for uh, Gymkhana. You've had very good success with drifting though. On the door is a whole host of little titles. Do you want to tell us about some of the championships you've won? Oh, there aren't every <laughs> stickers. <laughs> Not all of them. Just some. <laughs> just some of them. Wow. You okay. know the time. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, racer crew uh, usually not have time <laughs> for anything. So yeah, uh, yeah, uh, I could be a Hungarian drift champion in uh, 2014. Yes. And. Uh, and I have uh, several uh, good results in the King of Europe also. King of Europe as well. Uh, yeah, I, I could be in a qualification and I was uh, sometimes on the podiums uh, and a lot of podiums exactly yeah, yes. in Hungary and, and in Europe. And uh, besides this, uh, I was the only one Hungarian driver and uh, only one uh, female European driver who could uh, get a license in the Formula D. Too, Brilliant. Based on uh, my results. Yes. So it was nice. That's a that is a fantastic accolade. It's it's wonderful that you've accomplished that type of thing. Do you see yourself competing in future years in more drifting? Or are you going to continue your drifting career? It depends on uh, a lot of stuff. <laughs> this is my. <laughs> <laughs> always, always. Always sponsors. Yes, always sponsors. Uh, yeah, this is the reason why I couldn't uh, drifting or, or make gym can or racing mm. in the last two years. Uh, exactly. Uh, but uh, I hope that next year will be uh, different and uh, I will have a chance to follow my racing career. 
I because want it, it. <laughs> it has been a fantastic racing career so far. And as much as you haven't qualified here, as I said, you've won over the hearts of so many South Africans because of this beautiful vehicle. We're going to take you guys around this car and show you some of the little odds and ends that makes up this beautiful E46 M3. Nicoletta, I want to thank you very much for taking the time thank to chat to us. Way. It's been a fantastic time spending it here with you and seeing this amazing vehicle. And we hope that you've enjoyed South Africa. Yeah, I, I really enjoyed this time uh, this week. Yeah, so thank you very much. Only a pleasure.